Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look here at service level agreements, also known as SLA. So an SLA is a formal commitment about the expected level of service between a customer and a provider. So when a service level is not met, and if customer meets its obligation under SLA, customers uh, will be eligible to receive compensation. So financial or service credits, uh, you can think of them as store credits because you can use them towards uh, the most of uh, the the services provided by the CSP, whether it's compute, storage, databases, etc. But there will be sometimes uh, exceptions. So maybe like registering domains, because that actually cost money, okay? So uh, then you have service level indicators, so SLIs. This is a metric or measurement that indicates what measure of performance a com customer is receiving at a given time. A uh, SLI metric could be uptime, performance, availability, throughput, latency, error rate, durability, and correctness. Then you have SLOs, so service level objects. That is the objective that the provider has agreed to meet. So SLOs are represented as a specific target percentage over a period of time. So an example here could be uh, availability SLA of 99.99% in a period of three months. Target percentages uh, that you commonly see are 99.95%, 99.99%, 99.99%, .99%, 99.99%, .99%, 9999999999 and so the, that is uh, not uh, nine nines after the decimal point so we'll say nine nines of availability nine nines of durability then you have one that's for 11 so you'd say like nine elevens of durability uh, and so the idea here is that um, the SLA contains SLOs right and these are at the service level and then the SLOs are based off of the SLIs okay